Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright, everybody, <laughs> what is going on? Welcome to another video. Today's video is Making Games Day 300, no, 232, I do believe. So that means that I've been dieting for nine days and I've got some macros for you. So I promised in the last video I'd give you some macros, didn't do that, but now I do have more data. You know, it's been nine days rather than just four or five. So um, I've been dieting for a week and, you know, I don't know about you, but. You know, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm shaping up already. I do feel flat. I'm not going to lie, uh, but that's that's just what comes with it. You know, um, I've dieted too many times now. You know, I know what to expect. I think that you know when you start cutting, if you're not relatively lean in the first place, you're going to look worse before you look better. And that's what I keep telling people when they ask me. You know, in these first couple of weeks, even four weeks. You drop the water weight, you drop drop your carbohydrates, not fully, but you do drop them, which means water weight gets flushed out. You start looking a bit softer, a bit stringy, because you, your muscles aren't full of water, so they're not pushing up against the skin. When you go to the gym, you can't get uh, a good pump. Um, but, you know, it, it, if you know inside that you've, you've still pushed that weight, you've still stressed the muscle, the main thing you want to do when you're cutting guys is try and maintain that muscle mass. You don't want to lose it. And so personally in this first few weeks I've just tried to lift just like I have done in the past, you know, in the past few weeks. Um, for example, I was hitting uh, three plates on the incline hammer strength for seven to nine reps for three to four sets. And yesterday I went and did chest and I did three sets of nine eight and then seven reps so you know my best day in the gym would be four sets of nine reps with three plates yesterday after a week and a half of the cut I got three sets first one I got nine then eight then seven so uh, strength is, is is still there squats for example uh, squats I have still been squatting with three plates for my top set um, bent over row I've still got two and a quarter plates on there Deadlift, fuck man, I, I gotta tell you guys this. Probably, probably about a year ago, uh, probably about a year ago to be honest, I made a video talking about my opinions on the deadlift versus rack pulls, and then I told you guys my goal for the future as far as deadlifts go. And I said to you guys that if I can ever do 10 reps with four plates, so that's 180 kilo, 405 pounds. If I can ever do 10 reps, stop start, with no straps, just using chalk, I will be a happy man. That video is right here. Alright guys, post back sesh, here in the car park. Ah, we made some gains, we made all kinds of gains, in fact, I want to see what I look like under this light. Whoa. So anyway, um, <laughs> enough of that. Post back sesh. We started off with deadlifts. I haven't actually done conventional deadlifts in months. It's it's funny with um, with deads. I tend to go through patches. I'll go. I'll smash them for like you know at least once a week, if not twice, and be absolutely loving it. You know, um, smashing out uh, you know sets to failure, going fucking hard for like three or four months, and then I'll just go off it, and I I might put in rack pulls here and there. But basically, I just I just wear myself out, and I just can't continue that kind of workout for you know all year round. So today we got up to 160 for sets of eight stop start, and then I used 140 for sets of 10 stop start. So working set was 160, three working sets of eight, um, and then I dropped it down to 140 and did a working set of 10. Anyways, people are coming. I ain't fucking doing this in front of people, so I'll see you at home. 
what is going on guys beautiful day here in Alice Springs it's uh, Tuesday morning and it's probably about 30 degrees and it's great I thought I'd just finish off the video from last night so last night I hit back I didn't actually end up telling you what the workout was but my back is certainly uh, feeling quite sore today and that's because I hit deadlifts and I went fucking hard and deadlifts is still the only exercise that will guaranteed if I go you know pretty hard to failure for a few sets it's gonna make my back sore no amount of rowing movements no amount of lat pull down movements has ever has ever made my back as sore as it is with deadlifts and so yeah yesterday I hit them we did I think I said 160 for a, uh, three sets of 10 no three sets of eight stop start which is you know relatively good for me it's using straps no belt um, I think my, my all-time goal would be to put 180 on the bar, that's four plates, and be able to do a good set of 10 stop-start and just smash it. You know what I mean? Like that. That is a pretty good goal for me. Um, and we're not there yet, and we won't get there in the next 11 weeks, that's for sure. But anyways, guys. Well, I'm really, really pleased to tell you guys that after being in a calorie deficit for a week, I went and smashed a PB on the deadlift. So I put four plates on there. I've been sticking around the five to seven rep mark recently and you know doing sets of that this day I decided to warm up I didn't do as much volume on the warm-up as I normally do which usually fucks me I went to four plates I started repping it out I got to five I kept going got six got seven it was a fucking grinder but I got ten and so hey I just hit my goal on the deadlift so what's next <laughs> I don't know maybe it's five plates for three I think that that'll be a good one actually five plates for three reps I've done it before uh, but yeah I'm feeling pretty good at the moment feeling strong you know I've got gyno guys you know I've got gyno right I've woken up this morning I haven't trained I haven't done anything and I can already see that this side part is you know it's shaping up and it's only going to shape up more so let's have a look let's have a look at the macros for the first uh, let's have a look at the macros for the first nine days all right but hang on, let me get this up. I just had some bad news, guys. Alright, <clears throat> we have to revisit this. Alright, guys, I'm back. <sighs> Look at my freaking lips. Why are they so red? Tell me, someone. Someone tell me why my fucking lips are so red. People used to give me shit as a kid. Because they thought I had lipstick on all the time, but I don't. Anyways, where were we? Let's look at some macros, shall we? Alright, so personally I believe that for my body, at the weight I am now, anything under 2500 calories a day would be too low. Anything over that, it's going to take too long for me to lose the weight I want to lose in the time I want to lose it in. So, the first few days I was so, you know, I was so determined, I was so fucking into it that... I hit about 2,000 calories a day, and by the fourth day, when I tried to keep training the way I do, um, I realized, you know, this is too low, uh, the carbs are too low, the overall calories are too low, and I'm going to have to change it up a little bit, you know. I'm not going to get as fast results, but in the long run, I'll probably get better results. So, what I did is I raised my, let's talk about my total calories every day since I started dieting. Okay, so Friday, March 24th was the first day of dieting and I hit 2,134 calories. Second day, Saturday, 1,766, 1,908, 2,620, and that was the fourth day. So that was the Monday, March 27th. And that was the day that I realized, holy shit, man, I'm going to need to really up my calories if I'm going to continue training the way I want to train to maintain the muscle, because we all know that's so important. So I did up it, 2620. The next day, 1858. The next day, 4369. So that was the first day that I had my big blowout, which was on the sixth day of dieting. Now, with all the previous days being around 2000 to 2200 calories, it sort of evened it out. But the next day we went back down again, 1856, Friday, 3922. Now that day is out because the previous day I put some stuff in the next day because I ate it after 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. So 
You got Saturday, 2,095. And then yesterday, 3,838. So today, guys, today, I am feeling kind of guilty, but I'm feeling definitely leaner, like I said at the start of this video. And, you know, that's, that's evident. As far as macros, all right, as far as macros go, first day, guys, the first day, protein was at 175, which is too low. Carbs was at 194, which is pretty much bang on. And fats was at 73. Like I've said from the beginning, you know, I'm a flexible dieter. I like if it fits your macros, but as far as being meticulous on the gram for things like carbohydrates and fat and protein on the gram, you know, trying to hit a certain target, I don't really care. There's two things I care about when I'm dieting as far as my diet and nutrition goes. This is going to maintain the muscle and create a caloric deficit to create fat loss, all right? I, t I care about my total calories to make sure I'm in a caloric deficit and my protein. I only care about one macro. I don't care about carbs or fats. They, they can make up the rest, you know? As long as I've got enough protein in my diet, I feel like my muscle mass is gonna be spared. I feel, I feel at ease, you know, to continue throughout the day knowing I've got that protein in my system, uh, repairing my muscles from the workout before and also maintaining it because that's what I wanna do. So. Protein, I want to be 220 to 240 a day. Calories, I want to be 2500 or under a day. And obviously, what's 240 grams of protein? 24, 24 fours is 96, that's 960 calories. Four, yeah, 960, so 2500 calories total, less 960 from the protein, leaves 1540 calories. Now it's up to me. This is where flexible dieting comes into its own, all right? Because now that I have the knowledge about all these food sources, I can then see that amount of calories and make up meals to suit. You know, my protein's already sorted. So I've got 1,540 calories that I can use of fats and carbs. And hey, fats and carbs make food taste good. So that's the way I do it. Some days it might be 100 grams of fat and 100 grams of carbs. Some days it might be 250 grams of carbs and 50 grams of fat. It really doesn't fucking matter as far as your body composition, honestly guys. You just need to make sure you do have some fat in there for hormonal functions and also for lubricating your body and just making you feel good and giving good taste to your food. And obviously you need carbs to give you your energy. I try and you know, fit my carbs around when I train if I can. Recently I've been fasting throughout the day till about two, two in the afternoon, eating uh, a small meal mostly based around protein. And then if I'm working seven till seven that day, I'll make sure at about four or five, I'll have my first sort of real carb source, whether it be a couple of bananas, some rice, some oats, maybe a couple of sandwiches, something like that. And then that will be my pre-workout meal. I'll go and train. When I come home after training, after work, that's when I really sit down and have the majority of my calories. That's how I like to do it because I like to eat at night. I get really hungry when I train. And I've never thought, I've never been a believer of the myth that you shouldn't eat after a certain time or you shouldn't eat right before you go to bed. Because the way I see it, if you use your brain, guys, if you weight train like a few hours before you go to bed and then you don't eat fuck all after it, you're going to give you, you're going to have your body sleeping, going catabolic throughout the entire night with a, a worked muscle, not giving it any of the nutrients it needs. You grow when you sleep. If you've got any hope, of actually making gains whilst cutting, I would say that your best bet is to load yourself up with nutrients before you go to sleep, because then you might actually grow in your sleep. And then you wake up the next day and you start losing fat again, because your body actually goes through different stages. Even in a 24 hour period, guys, it goes through stages of losing fat and gaining muscle or putting on weight or, you know, maintaining, because if you've just eaten, like, put, I mean, let's be practical here. If you've just eaten a big meal, you're not going to be losing fat at that point. Your body's going to have to break down the nutrients, absorb it, use it, and then if you've got no more carbohydrates, no more glucose to use, then it starts breaking down fat again for fuel. So let's say you ate a 500 calorie sandwich. How long does it take you to burn that? Well, if you're not doing any cardio, you're not weight training or anything, it's probably gonna take a good four, five, six hours to break that down. If you don't eat anything by that six hour point, 
theoretically you should be back into fat burning mode. I'm using my fitness pal when I'm tracking and I've got calories and macros to, to enter in. I would much rather look at it at, in a 48 hour block. So I've got 5,000 calories to use in 48 hours rather than 2,500 to use in 24 hours. Because especially with shift work, I eat at one o'clock in the morning sometimes, I'm eating at you know, one in the afternoon sometimes. It really, it, it definitely varies. And for me to stay consistent and not worry about it too much, I like to spread out the blocks rather than be a 24 hour block because it's just, it's you get too pedantic and Obviously, I'm not pedantic now because I know what I'm doing, but I can see how guys would be when they feel like they need to hit that exact gram of fucking carbs or fats to, to create fat loss. It's like, no, guys. It's a calorie deficit. You want to keep your protein in there to make sure you maintain the muscle because that's the fucking key about bodybuilding is building the muscle, then cutting the fat without losing the muscle, and then you look great. So that's the plan, guys. I will give you my macros. Sorry, I just gave you my macros for the first day, didn't I? The second seven days after that was pretty much spot on. So 252 grams of protein, 235 grams of carbs, and 71 grams of fat per day. So as far as calories go, that is an average of 2,615 a day. Less my weight training every day, which I'd burn three, 400 calories. So that probably goes down to about 2,200 a day. And that is putting me in a great position to continue losing fat so so that is what we're doing guys and today i'm about to go and train some back uh definitely won't be doing deadlifts <laughs> that fucking set of deadlifts i think i did on the third day of the cut or the fourth day of the cut and i could not bend over for about four or five days it fucked me up honestly but I went to absolute failure. Like after that eighth rep, I thought, nah, there's no way I'm getting another one. And I got two more. So that's Tom Platt style. Anyways, guys, once again, I hope you have a fantastic day. Eat well, train hard, and uh, I'll try and do the same. And tomorrow I have a day off, so that's cool. I'll grab out the camera and we'll do a little vlog and um, show you guys a bit of day-to-day -day stuff. But it's all gonna be fitness related anyway, so. You guys tell me what you want to see, honestly, like, I'm kind of bored of, bored of, you know, I think, oh shit, okay, I'll show them what my smoothie is this morning. Well, you guys have already seen that, you know, and I think, fuck, I'll take the camera down to the gym, and then I think, oh, I'm going to have to get someone to video me and all that stuff, I'm going to have to feel awkward about bringing my fucking camera down to the gym, etc., so I don't do that in the end, and and then uh, sometimes I'll bring out the camera in the morning, and I'll, I'll look at myself, and I'll be like... God, you look like shit this morning. And then it won't happen. So I've just got to get that shit out of my head. You know, I thought it was, but I, th I guess I am, am still quite self-conscious about the whole thing. Um, but we're at 3,500 subs, so I'm definitely happy about that. But uh, anyways, I'll leave you guys now. Too much rambling. Those are the macros. That's how the diet's going nine days in. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace. Reaching out